Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about Zapier. So Text Local does, open, uh, does offer an open API, so um, we can integrate into basically anything that allows us to, but unfortunately not every system app will allow us to integrate directly into them. So this is where Zapier uh, comes in. Zapier is an automation tool which will allow you to automate the process of sending text messages. So the way it works is it acts as a middleman between two different apps. So, for example, if it's your CRM system and your CRM system is Salesforce, you'd be able to use Zapier to uh, to get sal Salesforce to talk to your text local account. So it would automate the process of sending out text messages. So what I'm going to be doing for, well, what I'm going to be doing today is just showing you exactly how the process is in terms of getting it set up. So I'm just going to be using Google Calendar um, for this example, but the process remains the same. It goes through the same steps. Um, so it should apply to whatever app it may be that you may want to use uh, with Zapier. So to get started, all you need to do is type in the app that you want. So I'm going to be using Google Calendar and then it's just a matter of finding your text local here. So, so what it will do is it will ask you when what happens do you want another action to happen? So when you click on this, um, so in my in this case, I'm a, a cleaning business. I use Google Calendar to put in appointments once they've been confirmed and I want to set up the automatic sending of a text message to a customer every time I've entered an appointment into my Google Calendar so they have that confirmation via text message. So to do that, all I need to do is select new event from this new event or updated event. You've got the option. I'm going to go with new or updated just in case things change and then a message will still go out to the customer as well. So if we click on that, what do we want it to do? So you do have a few options here, but it would, in this case, it would be to send a text message. So once you've done that, all you need to do is click try it. So at this point, it's going to ask you what, um, you know, what account do you want to connect to, what Google account? So I've already preset this up. So, but it'd just be a matter of clicking on connect to a new account and then linking it to your Google account, which of course is connected to your Google Calendar. So if we select that and click continue, I've set up a test calendar for this. So I've called it work schedule. And once you've selected the calendar, you just press continue. So what we want to do is we want to test so all we need to do is click on test trigger. OK, so I've, I've preset up a test uh, calendar event just for the purpose of this video. So it's already detected the right one, um, so that's fine. So what we'll do, move down and click on continue. And it will just confirm again, text local is the app that you want to connect to and send SMS is the action, which is correct. So we can go ahead and press continue. So at this point, it's going to ask you to connect to your text local account. So I'm just going to show you guys how it would work from scratch. So we'll connect a new account. And at this point, all it's going to do is ask you for the API key. So this is very easy to obtain from within your text local account. If we head over to text local, the platform, once you've logged in, you'll see this screen and all you need to do to obtain the API key is move across to settings and it's the third one down API keys. So here, all you're going to need to do is create a new key. And you won't have to bother with these two fields unless required, um, as mentioned here. So I don't need to enter anything here, so I'm just going to save new key. And there it is. So all you'll need to do is copy the API key. And then pop it back into uh, the box. So we'll do that. We'll press continue. 
and head back over here and that's it so all you have to do now is press continue and at this point this is where you're going to be sending out you're going to be setting up the message so i'm a cleaning business i'm called cleaning pro um so i'll put that in the sender name so when the recipient receives it it will be coming from my business name um, and then number. So so what I've done for this, if I've actually input the number of the customer in the description. So if you always do that and always make sure that you put the customer's number in the description, you can actually pre-populate it. So once you've set this up once, it will work for all new entries in your Google Calendar and you won't have to keep, you know, manually changing this each time. So that's what I've done. So I've selected description in the number. So it will automatically collect that information from my calendar and send out to that number each time a new or updated event is put in there. So next step would be moving on to the message body. So I'm going to say hello. Your appointment has been confirmed for. And then I've put as well the well, from the Google Calendar, what it will do is you can pre-populate when that happens as well. So here you just need to select when the event begins. And then let me know if there are any issues. So great. Once we've done that, it does ask you about an opt out, but that's only required if you're doing any marketing based messages. So for the purpose of sending an appointment reminder, an opt out is not required. So I'm going to leave that for now and click continue. So once I've got that set up, it's just going to give you an overview. Don't worry about this. Um, this will, like I said, this will be pre populated uh, when it actually happens. But it's just a good idea to do a bit of testing, send a couple of messages to yourself just to make sure it all works as it should. Um, and then you can turn on your zap. So we'll test and continue. Test was successful. The text message was sent. And then when, when you're happy with all the testing, you just need to turn on the zap. So you can do this now or you can go away, come back later. Just go back into your Zapier account and it will be there saved for you to turn on and off at any point. So if we go ahead and just turn that on. That should now have automated the process of sending a text message to my customers every time I put a new appointment into my calendar and has automated that process. So if you guys have any questions, if there's anything we can help with um, in regards to getting this, well, helping with the setup of this, then just get in touch. You can call us on 01244 7522 and 99. Thank you.